In their relatively short career, Joy Division became well known in the late 70s British music scene for their many melancholy songs, which would then inspire various other new genres, such as goth and new wave. The moroseness that characterized their music was in no small part due to the lyrics of Ian Curtis. His words would become progressively darker with each album release before he died by suicide on May 18th, 1980, the night before the band was due to leave for their first tour of the United States. Looking back on his lyrics now, it is quite self-evident that Ian Curtis was not a man at peace. His personal and professional life had no shortage of turbulence. His marriage to his wife Deborah Curtis was floundering due to his emotional distance, long absences, and alleged affair with journalist Annick Honore. He was struggling with epilepsy, which was exacerbated by the many late and overexcited nights spent performing under stage lights and raucous crowds. His band's growing fame has started to impose heavier demands on his energy and creativity, which he found stifling. The theme of lacking agency over one's life features heavily in his lyrics, especially in the song Atrocity Exhibition, the first track of Joy Division's final and darkest studio album, Closer. In many ways, Atrocity Exhibition is written like most of Ian Curtis's other lyrics. Much of the song is structured into quatrains, divided into two roughly rhyming couplets, a stanza format Curtis heavily favored throughout Joy Division's career. Another interesting quirk of Curtis's is that he generally did not conform to the conventional song structures of verses and choruses when he wrote lyrics, if at all. A good example is 24 Hours, which eschews any typical repetition of a chorus and can be read rather as one long verse. It's important to remember that Curtis was primarily a poet rather than a lyricist. His words weren't written with songs in mind, which is likely the reason for these more literary writing choices. Debbie Curtis has actually said that if Ian weren't a musician, he probably would have become a writer. While he looked up to rock stars like David Bowie in his youth, his writing was more heavily influenced by writers like William Burroughs, J.G. Ballard, and Franz Kafka. The very title of Atrocity Exhibition appears to be a reference to J.G. Ballard's experimental novel, The Atrocity Exhibition. I would argue that his lyrics are sometimes better appreciated on their own, which is why I love the choice Curtis's biopic Control made to actually have his lyrics read out loud without music. So this is permanence. Love shattered pride. What once was innocence turned on its side. When we look at the first stanza of Atrocity Exhibition, it's hard to miss the subtext of Curtis's parallel struggles with epilepsy and fame. Silence with doors open wide Where people could pay to see inside For entertainment they watch his body twist Behind his eyes he says I still exist Curtis was known for his manic, twitchy and trance-like dancing style on stage. Drummer Stephen Morris attributed this to Curtis losing himself in the music. However, he would also often lapse into epileptic seizures in the middle of shows and had to be carried off stage. It seemed to have deeply affected Curtis that his most vulnerable moments, both his most raw and authentic liberation through his art and the manifestation of his medical condition, had become spectacles for the crowd. The asylums he refers to appear to be allusions to the concert halls where the band played, implying his view of these places as prisons, and and is consistent with how he increasingly saw fame as its own grotesque prison. This oppressive imagery becomes increasingly violent in the second and third verses, where Curtis seems to compare himself to a gladiator. In arena she kills for a prize, wins a minute to add to his life. But the sickness is drowned by Christ before, pray to God make it quick, watch him fall. Curtis clearly saw himself as a slave to a brutal profession, locked in a situation where his personal needs, like his illness, were subsumed by the demands of the masses. He refers to his performances as mass murder, as if the audience has been invited to come and watch him die over and over again, as if each epileptic fit is in itself a kind of death. 
Now, when Curtis did write something resembling a chorus, he tended to choose one line or phrase fragment that would repeat throughout the song and thematically tie it together. This resulted in a chant-like, hypnotic, yet fragmented quality in many of Joy Division's songs, as if one singular thought is repeating over and over, and we can see this in Atrocity Exhibition with the line, This is the way, step inside. This is the way, step inside. This is the way, step inside. This line appears to be directed to one audience member after another, as if they are filing in to see his grotesque display. You'll notice that up to this point, all the lyrics are in second or third person, as if Ian Curtis is advertising himself to his audience and looking at himself from afar, detached from himself. The only time he breaks out in first person is in the bridge of the song. Here, Curtis breaks out of the quatrain pattern of the rest of the song and does away with all rhyming patterns. It is almost as if he is breaking through the facades constructed by his stardom, the rigorous routines imposed by his profession and asking his audience to see things the way he does. As in many of Ian Curtis's songs, Atrocity Exhibition artfully uses the craft of words, inviting the listener to understand his perspective. Unfortunately, no one was really listening until it was too late. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Ian Curtis has been something of a figure of fascination for me over the years. So I've been doing these videos on his death day anniversary on and off for the past, I think five years or so. I'm so grateful that people keep wanting to watch me rant about this icon in British music. Be sure to comment and let me know down below what your favorite Ian Curtis lyrics are. And remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.